everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about how to transfer files from an old computer to a new computer. It's one of the challenges that most people deal with and it makes getting a new computer almost as difficult and stressful as moving. It's a pain in the butt. And sometimes people will avoid getting new technology because it's such a pain to move stuff. It's a challenge. <laughs> so what can you do? Well, there are several things that you can do if you're a Windows or Macintosh user to make the process a lot simpler for you to get that new computer set up and to get those files off of the old computer that way, if you're trying to repurpose the computer to give to a loved one, or if you just want to simply donate the computer, you don't have to sit on it for years wondering about how you're going to get those files off your old devices. We're going to switch screens like we always do, show you how to get those files to easily transfer from your Windows and Macintosh computer. Now, keep in mind, I said easier. There's some more complicated ways to do it, but that's not why I do these tech tips. All right, so yay! You got a new computer, right? Got all the styrofoam that you want to fumble with and get out of the box. But what do you do next? You get that computer all set up, and you want to be able to get those files transferred over. So what can you do? Well... <laughs> Let's go back to our screen here and I'll show you what to do. So yes, you have a new computer. So one of the first things that you want to do is to enable some sort of backup system. And we don't preach about backing up, meaning us tech guys, because it's the safe thing to do. It also is a way for you to make sure that your information will transfer over to your new device. It's a lot simpler for you to back up your data rather than trying to get that information to transfer over by hooking up an external hard drive or using one of those data cables that don't work. So backing up is a good thing to do because it helps get that information onto your new device. Now the next thing that you, can, you should worry about is how are you going to back up that data? Well, there's two different ways. You can use an external hard drive, which we're going to talk about right now, and there's cloud backup, which we'll get to in a few seconds here. But external hard drives are probably one of the easier ways to back up your information, and both Windows and Macintosh makes that process a lot easy to do. There's two programs that are built into your Windows and Macintosh computers, the first being File History, which is a backup program that's built into Windows. Now, File History it, once you enable it, will allow you to automatically back up your stuff. Let's um, open the screen that I just closed, and let's go to Documents, and then let's go to File History. Now, File History can be found by just going to Search and typing in File History. Once we type in File History, it'll give you your backup settings on your computer, and you can automatically tell it to back up your computer using File History. Now, I know that's for Windows users out there. But what about Macintosh users? And that is pretty simple because you can use Macintosh Time Machine. And Time Machine is a tried and true program that allows you to back up your files automatically in your Mac. Now Time Machine is a little bit more advanced than file history because Time Machine will back up files, all the files on your computer and your program. Now keep in mind file history will only back up files. So if you get a new computer, you will have to restore your information. Now let's switch to our desktop so you can kind of get an idea of that, about Time Machine. Now Time Machine, like I said, for Mac is pretty easy to find on most Macintosh computers. You can just, uh, <laughs> let's log in and get back to Time Machine. But once you're logged into your computer, you can just go ahead and click in the upper right-hand corner 
and enter time machine. And once you're in time machine, you can either look and see your previous backups, which is what this screen is showing you, or if we hit cancel, you can hit the time machine icon again, and it will give you the option to, if it'll pop up, to open time machine preferences where you can designate a hard drive to be backed up to time machine, or and you can tell time machine to back up automatically or whenever. Now time machine will back up um, automatically so you want to enable that so that way you don't miss any of your backups when you utilize Time Machine. Uh, the next thing that you can use as far as backing up is concerned is Cloud Backup. Now Cloud Backup is probably the easiest and simple way to back up your information because the cloud you can tr easily transport it from one device to another. An external hard drive you can lose that data and your external hard drive can get destroyed. So Cloud Backup there's somewhat of redundancy that you can deal with. Now, two forms of cloud backup. You can use a cloud backup service like Dropbox or My Drive. <laughs> Dropbox or My Cloud is what I was trying to say. Or OneDrive or Google Drive. I don't know where that My Drive came from. But anyway, these are cloud storage services. So in order to get these uh, features to work, you would have to physically move your information to the cloud in order to get these programs to work. Now my uh, favorite way to back up for cloud would be with the cloud backup system as opposed to a cloud storage system. Cloud storage allows you to store your files. Cloud backup means that your files are automatically being backed up. Now cloud services such as iDrive, Backblaze, and Carbonite will automatically back up your files for your Windows and your Macintosh devices enabling you to, when you get a new device, to install these programs and they will automatically restore your files to your computer, meaning that once the service is enabled, your files will magically come down and you'll have access to all your files. Now, on Macintosh systems, your programs, if you were to use Time Machine, will automatically be installed to your new device. Windows users, unfortunately, you need to reinstall those programs in order to get access to the documents that you would use. So keep that in mind when thinking of a cloud backup system. But always back up your Windows and Macintosh computer. Number one, it saves your data. Number two, it makes it a lot easier for you to restore your files to a new device when you get one. If you have comments or questions about this tech tip, please leave them in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you to find out what tech tips you'd like me to cover in future videos. Speaking of videos, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel of me, Burton Kelso, the technology expert, or my company, Integral. There's hundreds of videos there that are designed to help you get more from the technology you use at home and at work. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. And thanks for watching.